Hey guys. I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies. And we tangent. Oh, baby. <laughs> when is this one coming out? In October? What song is that? I don't know, but I liked it a lot. Really? He goes. Ooh. Do you know what it is? No, but oh. keep singing more. That's the only part I know. Oh, wait. I think you can do it on Google now. I'm going to cut this part out. This yeah, is just yeah, for yeah, us. Yeah. Hey, Siri. What's <gasps> what's this song? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know what song this is. <laughs> anyway. I was really hoping he would do it. <laughs> I don't know what song this is. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha! What's up, everyone? everyone? It's the anniversary episode. Hello and welcome. Wait, is this me? Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Maybe to your baby. <gasps> oh my God, are you here? What do you look like? I know it's the future. Let's make some baby predictions. Okay. We made predictions in the last future episode. Yes. At least now I know this is a future episode. So you're not like freaking out. Yeah, I didn't realize it the last time. <laughs> um, so when is this one coming out? Do we know? Like ish in it, August or um, August? End Jesus. of October. End of October. <gasps> oh yeah, because it's our two year anniversary. Yeah, our two year anniversary is like the 29th so i think this is coming out like the 26th Either oh my that god or the second that is the freaking day before my i will be having a baby <gasps> you could be having a baby right now you could be in labor <gasps> breathe <laughs> is the... oh. we're gonna have to work on your breathing if those are your options for breath <laughs> oh <laughs> oh <Ooh. laughs> Oh I God. told Corey that it feels better because I had a Braxton Hicks contraction earlier. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Ah, ah. And then, like, you legit can't breathe. Yeah. But then, when it's going away, you breathe out of it. And I was like, it's nice if you moan like a like a cow. Mm -hmm. You're just like, oh. Remember. Bro. Animal sounds. It felt so good. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's how. You, and he was like, please don't do that. And I was like, then get out of my room when I'm having a baby. <laughs> get out right now if you're in it. <laughs> yeah. Out of the room. Get out of my room. Can I tell you something that just triggered a memory? Okay. I almost spilled this beer on me. Okay. Whenever I was... I went to a wedding this past weekend. Oh, congrats. Attended it. Not... I wasn't shooting it. I attended it. Mm -hmm. Wept my fucking face off. Love that. Okay. This was a wedding that happened in August. <laughs> so <laughs> months ago. <laughs> right. But I went to the wedding. I feel safe telling this story in the future. Okay. Wept my face off and then went and got a drink. I took one sip of my Moscow mule and like spilled it on my dress. And sure. I was like, what a fucking mess am I? <laughs> like, I've never done this before. <laughs> Have I never used a mouth before? <laughs> Apparently not. So while we were waiting, I've never been to a cocktail hour. Like normally I'm shooting during cocktail mm, hour. So mm -hmm. like, I was like, what do you, what do people do during this time? Oh my God, we just get fucking drunk and eat and snacks. Yeah. So that's what it is. Shane and I went on, got like our alcohol and we went on a little walk. <gasps> we went on a little stroll because it was at um, like a campsite, like a lake sure. campsite kind of thing. Mm -hmm. The last wedding I went to was at something like that. Cute. Yeah. So we walk and we're sitting on these steps. And then all of a sudden we see the bridal party walking back. And I realize, oh my gosh, they might be done with photos. Well, I shot the maid of honor's wedding. Oh. And so I saw the maid of honor and she was like, hi. And I was like, hi. And she was like, every time I looked at you and I cried. And I was like, every time I looked at you, I cried. <laughs> we hug. Oh, no, no, no. I spilled my drink <gasps> on her back. Okay. <laughs> she didn't notice. <laughs> But she had a line of, like, drink down the center of her back and butt crack. It looked like she was sweating. <laughs> it looked like she had back butt crack sweat. And I did that. I said nothing, of no. course. You're just like, well. Because I told you I spilled on myself and it dried almost immediately. Yep. Whatever fucking fabric this dress was made out of. <laughs> It took it's them another like, half hour to do the entrance into, like, the announced entrance. She walked by, still <gasps> ass crack sweat. No! I saw her an hour later after dinner when we started dancing, still there. I stained her dress. Oh, my God. Did anybody say anything to Nope. Her? <laughs> and she didn't know because it was on the back. Oh, no. I know. 
I always felt bad. This is not anything like that, but I always felt bad when I would give people like at weddings hugs, um, mostly like men in their nice tuxes. Well, lesson and then learned: I, keep the drink up on your not hug hand. Well, it's not my drink. I'll put. They'll pull me in close, and my face lands against mm. their shirt, and then I pull away, and half of my face is still <laughs> on their shirt, and I'm like, no. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's you. You can't go in so tight with your face. They pull my face in. What? The f- <laughs> They're just like get into this bosom. They're like, come here, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, give daddy. daddy the good stuff. <laughs> give me that face. Yeah. Read my chest. You know what my shoulder needs? Bronzer. <laughs> and I have come that for here. you. <laughs> so much of it. Say no more. I can hook you up. So wait, predictions for my baby. Oh yeah, sorry. I know we forgot for about what her your baby. Looks like. Are you she, thinking red hair, or dark hair, or hair? No hair, because oh, Noah was. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. So the way that Noah was, when I was in labor, Noah was stuck in my birth canal <laughs> for a very long time. He was very broad, and I wasn't pushing correctly because I had an epidural and I couldn't feel what I was doing. Yeah. So his head was like mm-hmm. rum, 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 rubbing. It rubbed all of his hair off. So when he came out, he had hair, but just like. From his the top of his ears down, <laughs> yeah, all around his head. It looked like he was a middle aged man going through some balding Mil- issues. Mil- Mil- yes, baldness. Yes. Um. So honestly, it could happen to her. I was hysterical. Oh, you just tape a bow to her head. <laughs> Didn't your mom tape bows to your head? They called me cue ball. I had no <laughs> when I was born, except on my back. <laughs> I was born fully hairy, like, from my neck down. <laughs> oh, wow. My mom said she could pull it between her fingers. I thought you were going to say pet. No, she did pet me. She was, was just laying like, on her and she's stroking you. But my hair was, like, non-existent, and, like, for a while. Until I was, like... Your head hair? Yes. Okay. Yeah, my body hair has always been strong. <laughs> my head hair is like, oh, no. uh, So she would tape bows to my head. So that people knew I was a girl. Yeah, because God forbid. God forbid anyone think I was a boy. Yeah. Uh. So anyways. I was eight years old and people still thought I was a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Got over it. Um. So what What color hair? Or no hair? What do you think? I think dark hair. I'm guessing dark. I. Because Noah didn't have dark hair and it was shocking to me. I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Because I so desperately wanted my children to have dark hair right and (laughs) your kids were like nope i know i make a lot of jokes about red hair and it's because i was teased yeah mercilessly about my red hair (laughs) growing up so i wanted my children to avoid that heartache and pain and bullying yeah um and so I have always admired my sister's dark hair. I've always loved your dark hair. Both my parents oh. have dark hair. My hair sucks. What? But no, I appreciate it, doesn't. it. Your hair is the most beautiful, beautiful color. You want to know why I hate it? What? Because if I would do curly cues like your hair, then my hair, you can't tell. There's no dimension. Fair enough. You know? It like, like sucks in light. Your hair is so shiny. Oh, it's that's oil. No, <laughs> oil no, 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 no. It's not like greasy, shiny. I oh. mean, like the every time you move your head, my eye is trained to see light. Oh, okay, and an insane amount of colors for yeah. some reason. <laughs> like I can look at green outside and tell you if it's blue, green, yellow, green. Um, Thank you. Orange. It's terrible honestly oh but it's a curse more than it anything. Is. <laughs> it's just from having to manipulate color so much with my job right but like your hair is like the is black yeah just straight up fucking black yeah and the light catches it in like the most beautiful way oh my god thank you you're welcome i'll take that compliment because I, I don't think she's gonna have your hair no oh i want her to i really do okay but i think i think she's gonna be a little auburn baby <gasps> I kind of hope so. Really? I kind of do, yeah. Mm. Again, because I've never liked my hair, but we'll see. I lo- Shane's hair was dark yeah. when he had hair. <laughs> um, and His body I, hair dark. <laughs> I wanted just a little dark-haired, curly cue of a baby. Yep. And I got a blonde and a red <laughs> I lo- Mommy loves you both. Yes. Well, that's what my hair... Dave is... 
has dark brown hair. I have like jet black hair. Noah's mm-hmm. got like light brown, and I'm like, what? How did the? Who f- are you? <laughs> yeah. Though as he gets older, it is getting darker. I'm it is. I yeah. noticed that when he was here. So I'm wondering how much darker it'll get. Yeah. Or if this is it for it. But your hair's always been super dark. That's so um, true. Okay. <laughs> when I grew it. Do you, do we think she's gonna have? Because Force came out with cheeks. That boy came out all cheeks. Well, if you see her cousins, their so cheeks. They have cheeks for days. Yeah. Okay. So we got cheeks. We got cheeks. <laughs> we got red hair and cheeks. Oh! Ah! You're giving birth to Forrest. <laughs> <laughs> How cute would that be if they look like siblings? <laughs> so cute. That really would be. So cute. Oh, I just hope she's healthy. Everybody who's listening and it's yeah. like, it doesn't matter what she oh, looks no, like. It doesn't. This is just for fun. I really, truly just hope that she's. I love when we go off on tangents like that where we imagine people being mean to us and no one's <laughs> ever been mean to us. <laughs> like, before you guys yell at me for something that I haven't done yet. Because yeah. <laughs> this is. You guys is always our inner voices. Yeah. Before yeah. me yell at me later <laughs> for these things, <laughs> be yeah. nice to me. Mm-hmm. Please, me. Please me. <laughs> hey. What's up? That was like the time that your sister said <laughs> planet, planet Earth. How about <laughs> we were talking about making plans and Taylor goes, planet, planet, Earth, Earth how about? <laughs> I always said like if if you had if we didn't make all these plans and have all these bonus episodes like uh stored yeah and i needed a co-host i would taylor could just slip right in here or <laughs> you'd be really good at if it i couldn't be here for some reason i think you and taylor could do it as well oh yeah we have oh she came over to my house we went swimming for a little yeah. bit for like a couple uh, hour or two maybe yeah and the whole time i was just like this could be a podcast episode because we were making jokes and laughing the mm-hmm. whole time she's very funny she is funny she she's listening it. to this right now going like i am ah. funny <laughs> She is funny. She doesn't oh. get enough credit for that, I think. I know. Um, but she was always the pretty one, so. <laughs> she's now going, oh. I know. So there you go. Um, this uh, this is our anniversary episode. And this was, what we're doing for the anniversary episode, we're actually going to do for the 100th episode. Yeah, but then we got a lovely uh, suggestion yeah. to do something different. So we moved it, yeah. our original idea, to here. Yeah. So, Sierra and I both turned 30 this year. Yes. And. Don't remind me. No, I'm kidding. It was actually great. I lo- oh, How do you I love feel being about 30. turning 30? I love being 30. Me too. 30 has been fucking great. I agree. For the two months. <laughs> I know. We've only been 30 for a little bit. But, but like- even like my late 20s was so like warming up to the, everybody was like, oh my God, late 20s. I'm freaking out. I'm like, really? These years yeah. are awesome. Now, I will say like. I am terrified at 40. Yeah, no. F- <laughs> knowing that that's in 10 years is like, very scary. After 35 scares me. Yeah. Um, I know that we have people who are over 35 in our audience. I'm not afraid of you. Yeah. And I, like, <laughs> if anything, I need you to reassure me that yeah. it's fine. Because when I was 20, I was terrified of turning 30. And then the closer I got, I was yeah. like, actually, this is kind of fucking great. See, I wasn't scared of 30 because I was like, I will definitely have shit figured out by 30. <laughs> but I kind of manifested it because I feel like... Right when 30 happened, it's like... It was like, shit was like, hey. Hey, you know what? It was, it was a close call there, but it looks like we're together. Yeah. Everything's together. I always said I wanted to figure life out in my 20s. Mm-hmm. I wanted to build my life in my 30s and then enjoy my life in my 40s. Wow. Yeah. And I kind of feel like I'm doing that. Yeah. And I always said that, I mean, in the last year. Okay. <laughs> but that I is- mean, I just came up with that today. <laughs> <laughs> but that is something that I was always like, well, I knew that I wanted to like learn a, a bunch in my 20s. I was yeah. like, 20s are, at first, in my early 20s, I was like, gotta have everything done by 25. Yeah. Married, kids, career, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Which is not the way. After 25 hit, I was like, no, my 20s are about growing and learning and making mistakes and learning from those mistakes. Yeah. And then my 30s are they where have I'm going to be because cause what the fuck <laughs> else? <gonna> change. <laughs> what the fuck is this all for? Yeah. And then I was like, and I'm going to use all those lessons to make my 30s fucking, you know, building life. I love that. Thank you. So use that, everybody. (laughs) This episode is basically um, us kind of reflecting. I found, uh, I don't know, it's not necessarily an article. I think it's a blog. (laughs) Um, People like to give advice. 
you know advice to we my are some younger of those self people <laughs> yeah. kind of things yeah <laughs> we are those people <laughs> um oh it is an article in psychology today <gasps> great but it was from 2018 so psychology three years ago <laughs> <laughs> oh october 27th yo what? that's fucking weird that's my due date is it yes well that's about the time this episode is coming out <gasps> that feels weird. weird the simulation's broken yep <laughs> Or is it perfect? Maybe. Maybe? Oh my gosh, I was almost going to like do a callback and say that last week you were talking about Schrodinger's... Schrodinger's cat! Schrodinger's cat. But we can't do it on this one. I know, because, because it's two be months so ago. Far away. <laughs> but you guys, remember two <laughs> and a half months ago when I couldn't think of what this was and what this was at the same time? You know what? Schrodinger's cat. When her hands were fast and I didn't understand and we were thinking parallel universe. Yeah, or paradox. No, yeah. Schrodinger's cat. But also paradox works. Yeah. And kind of parallel universe. It was all kind of the same. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so what the plan is planet earth how about? About. <laughs> um the plan is it says 30 ish important life lessons i have learned in my 30s now i guess this is life lessons <laughs> that we will look forward to oh but yeah i'm just not- looking at them as life lessons in general and what we're going to do is go through a few of them and just say whether we agree with them or just kind of like go off on our thoughts about those different things okay okay so the first one is traveling is the best form of education do we agree disagree Mm. how do we feel i feel like if you're surfing the internet yeah yeah now you have to be careful because not everything is real credible yeah or real um i don't know how i feel about that one because i'm not a big traveler well i don't think it's necessarily accessible so i think someone who may think traveling is the best form of education it's like oh well great i can't travel either because of um time or funds or whatever other reason is like what now i so i'm just gonna be fucking stupid (laughs) (laughs) or less educated or less experienced or like whatever education i have is incomparable to yeah that sounds like a very traveled privileged thing to say and i understand like understanding people's cultures it's helpful to like be immersed in them in a way sure but like you can do that without being touring yeah, I think that like can, being a tourist you yeah. know what i'm saying like it says i have sacrificed a goat with oh my what what i have sacrificed <laughs> a goat you're that really <laughs> i didn't read this before i just like picked that sentence out <laughs> what a sentence. i love goats <laughs> I'm, I'm like i saved that goat's life and she's like well i fucking I sacrificed, sacrificed it one, and i know more than you <laughs> because of it <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to pronounce this correctly. I'm so sorry. Masai, M-A-A-S-A-I, members in Africa, squatted in a toilet onto the train track up in there (laughs) (laughs) while on a fast-moving train in India. Yeah, I could do all these things at home. (laughs) So, like, walk through the S-21 prison in Cambodia with a friend who saw his father (gasps) slaughtered in front of him during the Chimer Rouge kissed an alpaca. That seems like a weird thing to jump to. <laughs> what a transition. On top of Rainbow Mountain in Peru. Now it just sounds like you're bragging. You are bragging. Get out of here. How'd you get all the money for this, Richie spent, Rich? Spent the night in an African hospital because I was sick from malaria. Delivered <laughs> babies in India without electricity and had listened to stories, laughed and cried with so many people from all social classes and walks of life around the world. Were they crying and were you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> As you were sacrificing their goats. <laughs> That's wild. Okay, let me tell you what I I feel like you this could This is Kristen Fuller, MD. Okay, so she was probably in all those places because of medical school. Again, Richie Rich. Or um uh maybe it was like Doctors Without Borders, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I literally know nothing about this person. They just wrote this <laughs> well, article. I'm judging in, them so hard. <laughs> 2018. So you're just pissed cuz you've been so many places. She's like, oh, I'm fucking like- kissing alpaca." <laughs> I'm like, I've left the country one time, and I cried. And I got COVID. Yeah. So, lesson learned. So, how about that? I did learn a little bit Mm. about Mexican New Year's, and that was cool. I feel like I could have learned that on the internet. So, 
No, but it was cool to hear. It was a nice. From. It was yeah, a nice experience to. It yeah. was a nice experience to have, but I don't think that I am more cultured because of it. Yeah, I mean you are <laughs> for sure. <I> am. <laughs> uh, number two. So, do we agree or disagree? We disagree. I disagree. Traveling is the best form of education. I think you can get. I think there's a lot of benefits to traveling, but like you can read books. Reading books, you can yeah. travel anywhere. Oh, wow. Yeah. I live a thousand that. lives. I live that. You're welcome. I, I meant to say love that. I said I live that. I live that. I live all <laughs> 1,000 of those lives. Uh, number two, forgiveness has nothing to do with reconciliation. <sighs> Hold on. I have to think about what reconciliation is. <laughs> reconciliation is like making reconcile. Up. Yeah, making it. <laughs> it's like having sex. <laughs> no. <laughs> If you forgive someone, you know, you have to fuck. <laughs> forgive him for fuck. <laughs> forgive him for fuck. Oh. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I'm so sick of being pregnant. <laughs> I just, Am it. I seeing you horny? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What did you say? All I heard was <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> okay wait all right (laughs) forgiveness reconciliation they don't have anything to what was it (laughs) (laughs) forgiveness has nothing to do with reconciliation um yeah right i agree yeah because you don't have to make here's the thing we've said this fucking so many times i feel but like if oh, you, I, <laughs> I fucking said this before she I even. I thought wrote you it. were a doctor. <laughs> I thought you were a doctor, Kristen. We knew this before. Even. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. We said it after you. But here's not. a little prescription. <laughs> Forgive. <laughs> do, do not, not reconcile. Do not reconcile. But seriously, you don't know. Oh, you don't have to make up with somebody. Forgiveness is for you. Forgiveness is for you. That's what I'm trying to say. Forgive for you for fuck. <laughs> <laughs> for fuck's sake. Yeah. Um, I agree. Yeah, forgiveness is for you. It's not about having to make up with somebody. And if you're only apologizing or seeking forgiveness so that you can Mm -hmm. make up with somebody, then maybe, you know, think about that. You don't even have to have a conversation with someone. Yeah. I I, I forgave someone Mm -hmm. for something they never apologized for or never talked to me about. I just said I forgive you. You And they were probably like, I don't need it. I don't know. They don't talk to me. (laughs) I'm (laughs) not sorry. And you're like, I forgive you anyway. (laughs) I forgive you yep. for not being sorry. <laughs> for being kind of a dick about this. I can do this all day. <laughs> I have forgiveness for days. Uh, three, seek advice from people you admire. Sure. Okay, this goes into, I don't, we were going to add a part where we give our advice, but I think that we're just giving our advice through this whole thing, so fuck that part of it, yeah. unless you have, like, specific stuff. No. <laughs> <laughs> I never do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But this one kind of goes into one of mine. Um, seek advice from people you admire. I real I had this realization that I feel terrible about myself because I am not good at everything. Yeah. And, and by good, I mean perfect. It's like great. At everything. Mm-hmm. Yes. I look at these people who are fantastic with plants. Okay. Oh. And I can't keep a plant alive to save my life. How but do you I, do it? But if I ask them, they know all the different kinds of plants. They know soils. what plant needs water. They know soils. They know pH propagation. They know what kind of light they need. You know why? Because they've spent so much time investing in that. Be- they have become a specialist, if you will, in that area. Mm-hmm. But I'm looking at plant lady i'm also looking at chef lady who's a phenomenal fucking cook yeah but guess what plant lady and chef lady are two fucking different people and i'm comparing myself to both of them when i'm just a me lady <laughs> you're just good you're good at fucking colors we found I out i am good with colors you see I'm color lady <laughs> color lady yeah yeah but seriously i know exactly what you mean because i'll be sc- and again i think that's a social media thing i will compare myself to everyone i scroll with and be like oh i'm not as good as this 
at as they are yeah. or whatever and I'm it's not like, as good of an organizer my house doesn't look yes. as clean and organized as this person but that person specializes and spends all their time doing that thing look at this person who's fit as fuck and is climbing yes. up this wall like a spider <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching a lot of American Ninja Warrior fair enough it's really cool but, but yeah that person spends so much time uh, investing literally in nutrition dedicating to and working out mm-hmm. and I'm like I can't climb a wall like so that so I want to be plant lady I want to be spider lady I want to be chef Ninja lady Warrior. <laughs> I want to be color lady yeah. I want to be organization lady but none of those people want to be other people they yeah. just want to be themselves yes so anyway so yeah if you want advice you don't get it from us <laughs> you can seek advice from people that you admire but understand like comparison and celebration are two different things very true you can get advice from them and you can adapt it to what fits your lifestyle uh-huh. but understand that like to be that person that you're admiring you have to sacrifice who you are. Yeah. Like, you're not supposed to be that person. You're supposed to be you. You are. Be yourself. Yeah. Love yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm glad you did. <laughs> Fuck her. <laughs> she punched the face on the wall for those audio listeners. I thought so I, I was going to cut it out because <laughs> it was an embarrassing moment for me. It was an impulse action. I liked it. Okay. Okay. Number four. Okay. In pain, there's learning, and in learning, there really is growth. Yes. Sure. A hundred percent. I agree. Every time that you there's a painful situation, I think you can learn something from it. Yep. And I think that's important because pain fucking sucks mm-hmm. ass. Feeling pain, feeling grief, feeling sadness sucks ass. So if you can look at it as like, well, at least I'll get something out of this. Or maybe you won't. Maybe yeah. you'll learn a little bit about yourself, though. And that's a good thing. Yeah. And if you don't, it'll pass. If people are like, you know, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. Yeah. And I just thought, I had this thought. When you make a pizza. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And you like dress it. You have the dough. You put it on the pan. I've never made a homemade pizza. You put everything on the dough. Mm-hmm. It's never going to become a pizza unless you put it in the oven. <gasps> unless shit gets hot. Yeah. It's real hot. This shit starts sweating and uncomfortable even. Yeah. Burns. For that pizza, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> definitely definitely for you. If you try and <laughs> pull get it in out there. right now. Yeah. But then when it comes out, man, it is it delicious. It tastes so fucking good. Mm-hmm. And that's a metaphor for you. You pizza, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you pizza ass, bitch. <laughs> Um, I really try to be serious, but like I want to be goofy also. So oh, I love I, you. I and also never eh. intended to be serious. Oh, okay, cool. Number five, save. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Always dump at least ten percent of your gross salary. Oh, bitch, who has a salary? Bitch, <laughs> who has a salary? Save into a savings account. Who has a savings account <laughs> slash investment account? Note to self: Figure out what the fuck that means. Hey, here's the thing: I'm not taking financial advice from a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck out of here <laughs> for a, I'll put it in that, that account for a rainy day because there always will be a rainy day literally it rains so fucking much <laughs> <laughs> every day is a rainy day that's why i don't hey, have anything in hey, my savings when does it not rain yeah i'm always raining i meant it's raining around me and inside of me yeah <laughs> my water broke <laughs> it's my tears Um, I think saving is a good suggestion, but I also think it's a privileged suggestion again, because the idea that I have anything left after you have to pay bills is Mm -hmm. just like, ha, okay, okay, 10%? (laughs) Yeah. Who? 10%. Of what? <laughs> Literally of what? Okay, if the $20 in my wallet, sure, I'll save two of those. <laughs> And they're going to go to Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> for the tip, because I can't even get a fucking coffee for $2. <laughs> Come on. Great suggestion, Melanie. <laughs> Her name's Kristen. <laughs> I was confused. I was like, wait, is this I written forgot. by what? I forgot. Hey, um, I'm sorry, Kristen, if you're listening. <laughs> oh, Kristen. Kristen. This is all fun. This is all fun, girl. I We're just not... looked this up 20 minutes ago. I'm sorry. It could have been anyone. <laughs> <laughs> we picked you. 
so sorry. I'm really sorry. I bet you're a really nice doctor. Yeah. But you do have more money than we do. <laughs> you have to admit that. <laughs> For sure you do. Um, and he's been more places. I've yeah. never kissed an alpaca. Yeah. How am I supposed to save? Or sacrifice the goat. How am I supposed to save and also go to fucking India four times a year? <laughs> <laughs> Riddle me that. <laughs> yeah so which one am i fucking do i want to learn or do i want to save ah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. pick one Mm -hmm. um it's totally okay to pivot your career path oh well yeah (laughs) for for sure i've had 20 different ones in this year you want to be whenever you want to be it Mm -hmm. pivot pivot i i pivot all the time and i think that's my gemini son I think that's my and m- mental myth. illness. <laughs> we're gonna say I'm sorry, I cut that off. Say Mercury. <laughs> but when yeah. he started to say mental illness, my mouth got stuck and I just went meh. <laughs> it sounded like a ghost. <laughs> oh, she's gonna sacrifice you. <laughs> oh no, Melody. <laughs> Melody Kristen. <laughs> Don't. Oh, please. Oh. Uh, okay. I'll give you a kiss. <laughs> kiss I'll, right shit. I'll shit on some train tracks with you. <laughs> For sure. We're down to do that at least. <laughs> when don't I do that? <laughs> oh. Take time for yourself. Yeah, okay. Okay. Who has to <laughs> Okay, Melanie. <laughs> Who has to fucking... You know... I did for five minutes yesterday. I started... Remember that book that I was reading in June? I picked it back up again and read two more pages. How <laughs> was it? Good. Good. It may be just as sad as the last time. Yeah. Do you remember what book it is? Mm. What happened to you? It was oh, the Oprah... Yeah, yeah. I was going to say it was book. the Oprah one, but I can't yeah. remember. Yeah. Yeah. Take time for yourself. But again, that's uh, also a privilege. If you're... How are we supposed to make money to save, make money to travel, and also take time for myself? Yeah. You're giving me a lot of advice and not telling me how I'm supposed to do it. Am I taking time... Well, she does have paragraphs underneath this that I'm skipping. (laughs) (laughs) But it's not like a full-on tutorial. Who's watching everything that I have to do when I go to travel? Right. Yeah. Huh? Mm. I got questions, Melanie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Contact us. <laughs> if you're not comfortable with being alone, you are not ready for a romantic relationship. Bah, I don't believe that. <laughs> Me neither. Because I was so codependent when I got with Corey. Now, I I was in a romantic relationship while Shane was in a different state. Yeah. So I was still alone. Yeah. And I've like, I mean, Corey worked midnight, so I was alone when he was at work. Like, well, we didn't I spend a lot of time together. Well, if I don't want to be alone. Yeah, I don't like I being alone. I just feel like maybe her advice is good, but I don't want to hear it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't accept this. Thank you. Yeah. And I also just feel like it's kind of generic. Like, I've heard all of these before. And again, it's all, like, privileged white people. Shit. I, I do feel like I can be alone. Mm-hmm. But there... Why would I want to? But I mean, that's not what she's saying, I guess. She's saying, like, if you're not comfortable being alone, you're not ready for a romantic relationship. But I don't believe that, because I landed into the best romantic relationship of my life, and I was... Terrified of being alone? Terrified of being alone. Sometimes I think being alone is a very scary place to be. I think sometimes silence can be very, very loud. Yes. And um, having someone there who you trust... Yes. Um can help keep you grounded and keep you safe um not that it's not anyone's responsibility to help you like fix me yeah but here's the thing i just needed him there while i fixed myself right and it helped i mean like right. i couldn't being alone was harmful to my self yeah. literally yeah. and so the fact that he was just around i didn't yeah. depend on him to fix me right but i liked that he was keeping me company while i did it myself and maybe and he made me want to do it. Well, he made me want to be a better person. Too, maybe it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship yeah. um, while you're working on yourself. Um, maybe someone else can fill that void but for you. But it's so but difficult and when you're older. Because like we've talked sack. about... Because <laughs> I'm fucking horny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say two birds with one stone. Two birds stone. But like we've talked in the friends thing. Like the older you get, your friends have their own lives. Yes. Like they can't be yep. there for you all the time. <laughs> you have to trick a man to be around <laughs> you <laughs> by fucking him. 
No. Oh god, don't do this. Oh no. <laughs> that was a surprise. That was a good one. That was a surprise. I almost you saw it almost come out of your nose. I almost threw up. <laughs> Again. Um Yeah, and I kept hearing you wheeze and it kept distracting me from swallowing. <laughs> oh my gosh. It like caught me in a weird place. Um, number nine. Travel. What? <laughs> and all it says is C number one. It feels like you needed to come up with a different one hey it feels like you're really pushing the travel thing and you're not realizing we're in a fucking band (laughs) you didn't have the foresight in 2018 (laughs) to know that traveling's not safe right now you're a doctor no but seriously what i want to say about that is like stop pushing traveling so much that kind of offends me a little bit (laughs) as somebody who is afraid of planes (laughs) yeah number one and is poor like yep. that's a little rude yeah. just, or and i have anxiety yeah you want me to go out to all these places without researching them and just like fucking learn things <laughs> no i'm sorry <laughs> you're just supposed to eat pray love it no okay. fuck that that's so scary you just go to a I bunch agree. of countries that you don't know the language of and like immerse yourself in shit ha- for what hostile that's how yeah. scary as fuck <laughs> yeah well oh what well, is that the was that the movie where he's like i know who you are I will find you. No, and that's I will kill you. Take, taken. Yes, taken. The, I hostel's the one. It's real fucking gross. Well, did I ever tell you that before I went on my senior trip, I asked my mom and dad if I could go, mm-hmm. and my mom was like, "You can go if you watch the movie Taken." What? And I was you like, went to Myrtle Beach. <laughs> <laughs> it was someone else yeah we that went was on after we graduated yes you're right so i was like mom i told you to watch take it i've already <laughs> seen it and she's like well you know just remember just think, you know i just want you to be aware that shit happens and i'm like okay i'm gonna go but i thought that was so weird that that was her stipulation it's like you have to watch this movie about being taken by someone by being kidnapped internationally yeah while you go to and Some then I'll allow two you states away to leave. Three states away. I'm going to instill anxiety in you <laughs> before you go. <laughs> uh, your birthday is the only day that's all about you. No. My I mean, birthday what? and my anniversary are the same day. Yeah. But so. like, I don't know. Uh, fuck it. Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done not agreeing with you. I don't care. That's fine. Yeah. You can make it all about you. I don't give a fuck about birthdays that much, but like mm-hmm. if you do, cool. Then have that day, I guess. We all have one. She so. says celebrate, do whatever makes you happy because it's the one day of year where you can call the shots. I never work on my birthday. My boss may or may not be reading this. I either go on a trip or spend the whole day doing all my favorite things with the people I cherish. Yo, we get it. You travel. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I think that if that's <clears throat> I have never worked on my birthday. I don't I work on my birthday. If your birthday is a special thing to you, cool. I don't. My birthday is a trigger for me. Like yeah. I was, uh, I don't have good thoughts about my birthday. I used to be really excited about it, and then I was told over and over again that no one cares about my birthday. Yeah. And so um, now it's my anniversary, and so I celebrate it for right. that reason. And um, yeah, I mean, if it's n- not a fun day for you, if like you have issues with it, like who cares? Right. Yeah. You can make any day a special day. That's what I'm saying. Maybe like a day that, oh. um, maybe your wedding or maybe your divorce day or <sighs> maybe, um, a day that you got clean mm-hmm. or, um, that you graduated. Like you can pick whatever day special you want day you to want. celebrate yourself. Yes. Read. <coughs> okay. I'm, I'm here with her. Okay. Uh, wisdom does not necessarily come with age. Agree. Agreed. Agree. And I think that's so important. That's and really important. we've said important. that numerous times that like... We, Getting older doesn't just make you automatically wiser. 100%. If anything, I think you have to do more work mm-hmm. to stay up with current times. Mm-hmm. Um, like with... You know, what's appropriate now? What have we learned? And what's going on? It, that's yep. exactly it. Like, we just said, oh, we did this in the same... <clears throat> but we just did the true crimes episode on what's happening in Canada. Um, and, like, things like that is... 
I don't give a shit how old you are. If you don't know about those things and like you're not up to date with those and then somebody talks about it and you're like, ah, it's not that big of a deal. Like it is though. Yeah. And this is why. And this is why you yeah. need to keep learning about it because even though you didn't know about it when you were growing up when it was happening, mm-hmm. it was still happening. Yeah. And, and a now lot we of know. times people think that they get to a certain age where they <clears throat> are exempt from like learning more. Yeah. They're or just changing. like my my age makes me everything that I do excusable. Yes. Yeah. And I think that one thing you and I have said <laughs> multiple times and one thing I hope to hold true always is that we look to younger generations with respect and mm-hmm. like acknowledgement of uh, that they that what they have to say matters yes. and has value and i'm i don't ever want to look at a younger generation and automatically think that they don't know anything i know we give gen z a hard time for like their gestures and things like right. that or their fashion but like truly i think what gen z does um when it comes to inclusivity and standing up for their mental health yeah. and um their autonomy like i That's love important. it i'm here for it yep. yeah we can learn from you even though we're older mm-hmm. invest in your skin oh yeah i agree with that your hands are the first sign of aging daily spf here's the thing about skincare people uh, from a former slash current not practicing esthetician <laughs> um, she says tip your esthetician oh f- I like, I'm sorry, Kristen. <laughs> I'm <Melody>. sorry. <laughs> My girl. I'm sorry for everything you said, and you were right. Um, but tip everybody. But skincare prevention is better than correction. I'll tell you I'm that right freaking with that. now. Seriously, though. Because I didn't, first of all, I didn't realize you start aging after like 25. Yep. So, like, to prevent it, you gotta start in your early twenties. Yep. I wasn't doing shit. I was falling asleep with my makeup on every single night in my Same. early twenties. Like I did not get. I shit. convinced myself that my body wants me to do that. <laughs> well, it's funny because now that I don't, like right now when I'm wearing makeup, it feels thick and like mm-hmm. heavy, s- heavy on yep. my skin. So when I take it off, I feel like oh my god, I feel so much lighter. Yeah. But like back then, I didn't. It didn't register to me at all. So, like, it didn't bother me. I remember waking up and, like, just putting more on over what was already on yep. for the next day. Uh, you're saying, ew, like, that's not what I did today. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Spend time outdoors. I agree. Yeah, for sure. It's important. Um, drink at least three liters of water a day. I don't, I don't know, know what, what that liters means, are. <laughs> but I do drink a lot of water. You should stay hydrated. That's actually pretty important. Floss. Oh, boo. <laughs> I don't even go to the dentist, okay? Listen, That's one flossing thing. Barbara, hurts my if teeth. if you ever listen to this, I hide so many things from you. One of them <laughs> being my giant fear of calling places to set up appointments. Same. If I told you, you would make me, you'd make that my homework, and I am avoiding it. If there was, like, a travel dentist who would come to you... I thought about that! I would fucking do it, I for sure. I thought about that. I just hate going there. I thought about them pulling up into my driveway, yes. and then I was like, well, the cleaning, like, the sanitization process between was probably difficult, but, yeah. like... Even if they I, had, like, a thing in their truck, yes. I'd go out to that instead of the office. I don't know why. Same. Dentist office, like, intimidate the fuck out yep. of me. I want you to come to me. I'm tired of doing all the work. <laughs> Let's do that with all doctors and yeah. <laughs> everything. Uh, open a retirement plan. Anything financial on here, I don't know how to do, and I feel stupid about it. Um, and I think that the world is not going to last until I am at retirement <laughs> age. <laughs> right. I remember... A, a retirement plan would actually probably not be a terrible idea, but yeah. I no, guess. it's a good idea. Certainly, all of these things are good ideas, in theory. In theory, but I'm like just, practicing. I'm overwhelmed by it. I remember when I lot. left teaching, one of the concerns <clears throat> of family members was like, what about a retirement plan? What are you going to do? Mm-hmm. And my plan is to just like, Wing live it. like I'm already <laughs> retired. <laughs> All the time. Yep. I'll just figure it out. Yep. I don't know. I'm banking on Corey's retirement plan. <laughs> yeah. To be mine also. So. Yeah. Whatever his plan is, I'm just piggybacking on that. <laughs> I hope it's enough for both of us. <laughs> if not, oh well. Oh well. You do not need to own a home with a white picket fence. 
Mine's wood. I thought I was going to say with a white person. <laughs> oh. I was like, agreed. <laughs> it's fine if you do, but you don't have um, to. It's hard enough to own a home, period. <clears throat> she, this is 2018. She has no idea what the housing market is yeah, like right now. No, she, but it's, it's never really. We're been. doing real like weird time stuff right now with this being 2018, <laughs> us being in August and playing in October. I know. Okay, so yeah. Well, you don't have to own a home at all if you don't want to. Yeah. I mean, it is cheaper, but like, don't make that like you made it if you own one if you don't yeah. if you have to rent for like ever it's fucking fine yeah or if you don't want a house you want an apartment or you want yes. a condo or you yeah. want a duplex like doesn't matter you want a van that was shane a nice plan we we're yeah. gonna live in a van i love those old school buses they uh-huh. like ugh, so cool um cars and boats are not investments i mean what who the fuck is buying a boat I Again, guess they <laughs> are but uh, i it says a Mercedes may only make you happy for 10 days until you have to take it into the mechanic. A Mercedes? What social class is she fucking talking <laughs> yeah, to? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I have a fucking 2006 Ford Focus. <laughs> I, th- I think they are investments, but <clears throat> I don't think that... Again... Uh, People who are not having <laughs> retirement plans or savings <laughs> plans or traveling to India are also probably not buying Mercedes. I'm not worried about my fucking Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, my car is it, there to get me around, and my boat. What <laughs> the fuck, <laughs> Melody? Kristen, what Melody fucking Kristen. boat are you talking about? Forget keeping up with the Joneses. We no, I watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians. <laughs> nobody will remember your job title your bank account well then why am i spending so much time focusing on it melanie yeah what are you talking about <laughs> they will remember your character and how you made them feel you definitely you're making me feel with- bad <laughs> about all the things i'm not doing right oh my god kristen i'm so sorry <laughs> we i feel like We're this is like the, part, the, and the I'm mansplaining so- episode where we just fucking destroyed yeah. shape what you don't know Kristen, is that we bully people out of love <laughs> and we don't mean any of this it's all jokes oh no we definitely mean some I of do, it i do mean a lot of it <laughs> but this is not at you no we but, think you meant well yeah you should know that poor people exist <laughs> <laughs> that's important <laughs> so just a little advice from me to you <laughs> And if you've got any for me to use, <laughs> yeah, because none of this really applies. Oh, except for this one: eat all the carbs. Okay, <laughs> we're back on the Kristen train. <laughs> Fucking and we're shitting on the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking done. I um, did all that today. Exercise. What? Those two contradict the fuck out of each other. <laughs> I, you can eat carbs and exercise. Really? Because I'll throw them up immediately. <laughs> Maybe not at the same time. Um, <laughs> I'm just eating spaghetti on the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> Says who? Um, yeah, no, exercise or whatever. I mean, he, here's the thing. You can just like go for a walk or like up well, your yeah. stairs or something. Yeah, she said it's not just good for the mind, but it's also good for your health. I really thought that sentence was going to be switched. She's like, it's not just good for your health, it's good for your mind. Yeah. Like, no one exercises <laughs> for their mind. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I think some people Maybe. are, but I think some people also do it to, like, feel Stay fit. alive. Yeah. <laughs> Stay alive. <laughs> Stay alive. <laughs> Stay alive. <laughs> we haven't done a Hamilton situation in a while. This one Um... Take care of your health when you are young because it will become harder to control unhealthy lifestyles the older you become. I don't have insurance. (laughs) (laughs) Kristen, I'm poor. (laughs) And I don't feel like it. Um, Wait, if I... Hold on, what did it say? If you do it when you're younger, you don't have to worry about it when you're older? Yeah, It's no harder sh- to break those habits when you're older. Well, you no know shit, I'll is- be dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else is hard? This fucking mental illness. That yeah! I have. How are you expecting me to live a healthy lifestyle, travel, get a fucking banker or I'm whatever? I'm overwhelmed. I'm Same. tired. Yeah, this is too much for me. Yeah. Girl, stay in bed. <laughs> Pick your battles. Oh, really? Because I'm picking one right now. <laughs> it's with you. <laughs> Um, I do, I will never understand people, why people fight over politics or leave nasty comments on social media. 
<laughs> oh, okay, I don't feel bad for bullying you because you just called me out. <laughs> Pick what is worth fighting for. Baby! Hey, politics in this environment are worth fighting for. Well, this is 2018. Although... Hello! Yep. Nope. Yeah. Nope. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Melanie, we're fighting right here. <laughs> My friends and family are worth fighting for, but I will not fight with them over petty nonsense. Bitch, hey, don't people, go to Father's Day. People's human rights aren't petty bullshit. I literally or whatever fought the fuck. with my aunt on Facebook and told her I was gonna find her at Christmas. <laughs> like I will find you at the next family event and I will bring this up to your face. I called you out online publicly and I'll do it to you when we're over the dinner table. I don't care. Yeah. Human because rights it, are rights. It matters. Yes. And it shouldn't be a political issue, but guess what? It's been made to be one, and, and now I'm going to fight about yucky, it. Yucky! Call your family out for being yucky. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't accept the whole their family, so we can just let them be fucking toxic. Yeah. Bullshit. No. No. If she said pick your battles, and explained it as like, okay, so Sometimes. you wanted Shane to pick up his pop can, and inst- oh, I'm sorry, you wanted a person to pick up his pop can. <laughs> And throw it away. <clears throat> and instead, he put it in the sink to drain and just left it there. Yeah. At least he was close to the hey, trash can. is that something that's a big pet peeve of yours? Because yeah. that is Corey's biggest pet peeve for me. Is it? <laughs> me and your husband are the same person. And you and my fiance are the same. <laughs> the trash can is right there. That's what he always says. It's too far. What? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, yours is closer than mine. Yes. I have to like throw mine. He has to just pull the drawer out. <laughs> and it's done. But, like, I'm picking my battle. Yeah. I'll just throw it away myself. It's not a big See, deal. See, I accept that. Yes. But, like, picking your battle the way that she described yeah, it? Yeah, the way she described it? Absolutely not. No, honey. Mm-hmm. Or, like, picking your battle. Uh, I would think of that as, like, a road rage. Yeah. Like, if yeah, you're yeah. Gonna, if you're going to lose your cool in your car over someone who <clears throat> was driving ignorantly, um, one, that person, I, I would bet money didn't do it intentionally and yep. doesn't know that they did it. And As you, somebody who gets beeped at a lot. <laughs> and you, That's for sure. They can't hear you. Yeah. So the only person that you are... Doing all that nonsense for is yourself. Is, is you. Yeah. You are just tiring yourself out. You're frustrating yourself. You are um, now putting yourself at risk because driving frustrated is not you know, mm-hmm. a good thing. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize your tootsie was right there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you can never take words back. Well, I mean, no, you can't. Yeah, um, but you can correct yourself. Yeah, uh, take accountability. You can't yeah. take it back, but I think you can take accountability. Yeah. And I think that's important to learn is um, saying you're sorry is always going to be better than... Um, Acting like you didn't do anything? Yeah. 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 And also, um, and if you're in a healthy relationship, it should be a safe place for you to mess up and apologize. Agreed. And, but remember, like, just saying sorry isn't, you have to change your behavior as well. So if you really mean it, change what you're saying sorry for. That's an issue I have is, like, I want to change my behavior. Mm Mm-hmm. And I have to keep reassuring myself that, like, some of the behaviors that I'm wanting to change have been reinforced and practiced for 30 years. Yes. I'm not going to be better. Yeah. Immediately. Exactly. So, like, J- I, I am going like to just, like, the conscious say, effort. Yeah, yes. I am going to have to say sorry multiple times. I yeah. am going to mess up multiple times, but I, yeah, I am trying. And yeah. I think that's important to say, too, because I, I know that I feel... <clears throat> like i'm failing a lot of times when i have to keep apologizing or i keep having that repeated behavior just to say like you know took you fucking how long to develop that and and your how often is that pathway strengthened in your brain it's going to take you a little while to break it exactly uh friends will become strangers and strangers will become friends what are you a fortune cookie yeah what the fuck does that mean (laughs) i mean yeah i guess we said that in our friends one but like okay cool just like People drift in and out of your life. Yeah. Yeah. It, it happens. happens and it's okay. Um, except the fact that who's in your life now may not be in your life forever and that there's a reason for the season. We yeah. had a whole episode on it. You yeah. guys know what we're talking about. <laughs> work to live. Do not live to work. Um, How am I paying for these travel plans? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Work to live. We are. Yeah. We are. <laughs> we're just, we don't have we're anything tra- left over. <laughs> yeah. Um, always put a full tank of gas in your car. <clears throat> What? If you only Whose fill- fucking bank are you <laughs> using, Kristen? 
I don't always have time. I don't have money. <laughs> like, you're lucky if I get 10 to 20 bucks in there to yeah. last me so that it's not on E anymore. Yeah. Learn a new hobby. Okay. Yeah. Well, th- my ADHD agrees. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I'm always learning. <laughs> you want me to hyperfixate on something? I'll hyperfixate on something. I sure forever. will. Ask questions. It can be humbling. Mm. I feel like you should just always probably like kind of be humble. A little yeah. Bit. Um, but yeah, I definitely sure. I don't think there's anything wrong with asking questions and mm-hmm. humbling yourself to say that you don't know everything. She says as she writes like she knows everything. <laughs> like she's running out of time. <laughs> Allow yourself to have bad days, but know when to seek help. Mm. Well, yeah, but that's kind of hard. That's easier said than done. Yeah. That's like such a, uh, like, oh, you make sure that you get to yourself before you get to yourself. <laughs> kind of thing. And it's like, Kristen, sometimes we can't. Well, we have said allow yourself to have like a, a mental sick day. Yes, that's important. Yes. But I'm just saying, sometimes it sneaks up on you. I know. But she's saying, allow yourself to have that, but no one to seek help. Like, I think... Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. Ha- and I think maybe when you are not having a bad day, putting plans in place to make sure, like, hey, if it gets to a certain point, I have, like, a fail safe. I know. Yeah. Plan of action. Yeah, yeah. You POA, should always keep... you will. I used to keep the... Uh, I think our initial response is to just hate everything she has to say. So I'm, I'm like, trying to, like, oh, circle you. it back to be like, no, okay, this actually is... That is good. Probably good advice. But, but, but also, um, know when to seek help, but, like, have a plan for it when you're feeling good, too. I used to have that number yep. saved on my phone all the time, just in case. Yeah. Um, I, I don't even like any of the rest of these. What are they? Um, always wear comfortable shoes. Always remember where you parked your car. Um, I can't remember what I ate for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't intentionally forget where I parked my car. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't just like park my car and then I'm like, well, that's gone. <laughs> don't need that for a while. <laughs> um, get rid of your clutter. I'm trying. Oh, I'm a hoarder. I know. <laughs> because I'm poor. Well, we have I have an attachment. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> attachment issues. I to have things. attachment issues to things because I never had things. Mm-hmm. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah. No, we talked about that today. How you just like? Yeah. Well, I always was moved like a lot, and things got lost in the shuffle, and so now I have an unhealthy attachment to like mm, everything. Yeah. And I just want to keep it. Uh, reduce your carbon footprint sure okay. um and everyone is fighting their own battle I but feel like we have to are... pick our battles <laughs> so am i picking the one with myself one thing um that i thought about today that kind of goes along with the reducing your carbon footprint i don't necessarily know what my carbon footprint is but i was thinking I don't about understand that I would like you know, to learn more about the it. comparison thing of like comparing myself to plant lady and, yeah, yeah, or yeah. like instrument lady or um, spider lady. Mm-hmm. I <laughs> I also look at myself as like a mom and struggle knowing that I don't like some days I don't read to my kids. Right. Like the bedtime comes and I'm like, oh, my God, I didn't read a book. Yep. We didn't read a book today. Yep. And I beat myself up by missing these little things. And I remember someone saying, like, okay, are you going to be completely um, no waste? Like, yeah. Are you going to res- have no re- plastic? Are you going to have uh, use all of your leftover scraps of food? Are you going to be someone who does not either feed into the carbon footprint issue. Right. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Uh, oh. Fuck, what is that called? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. Though. Okay. S- or, like, are you going to be someone who is, like, not using all of these negative things to impact the environment? Right. And I heard someone say, like, if you just make one change. Yeah, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. Yes, a lot of people doing like one thing yes can be just a as huge effective difference because some people when they feel like they have to do it all they just say they Fuck just it say and do nothing that's how i am with dieting yes. or any kind of exercise yes so just picking like 
attainable goals for yourself yes. that can be little things um, can make a big difference over time. So like I have to re- reassure myself that like the little things that I do for my kids mm-hmm. on the daily or even occasionally like right. isn't is enough. Yeah, and like, it is. I'm enough. Yes. Oh. Okay. Cute. Cute. <laughs> do you want to play the whisper game? Yes. Okay. I have to go get headphones. Hold I on. don't have any. We can share. So you found some? Okay, guys, I don't know if you've listened to the first anniversary special. Is that when we did it? Yes. Oh, fun. So now I guess it's tradition. <gasps> We're going to be playing the whisper game. Hey, how you doing, little mama? Who's <laughs> right here? Um, Is that copyright? Probably. Sorry. I think you can say like 10 seconds of it. Oh, sweet. Or sing it. If you guys ever want a good playlist to um, tango to, it's called Silk Sheets <laughs> <laughs> uh, on Spotify. Is that the one with Bo Burnham on there, though? What? Bo Burnham? He's on there? Didn't you tell me there was one that you had a tango thing and his he came on? I don't think so. And you, it was all eyes on me? Oh, no. Shane put that in the queue. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. For fun? Yeah. Shane put that in the queue. Get your old fucking hands <laughs> Okay. I'm going to go throw back 2000s pop punk. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear what I'm saying at all? Now that? Are you sure? What? Okay. Ready? Okay. What is your biggest fear? My fear. Favorite fingers? My middle one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what makes you really angry? What makes me angry? You um, got it. Shh. Sorry, I fucking love the song. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, when Shane doesn't throw his pocket away. <laughs> That's fair. Um, what's your proudest accomplishment? One more time. What's your proudest accomplishment? <laughs> My, I'm a, I'm a 32B. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no I'm not. I'm a 34C. <laughs> What's your favorite book to read? Um, pay it forward. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what did you want to be when you were smaller? What would I do if I were smarter, <laughs> like cancer or something? <laughs> That's not what you asked, is it? No. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? (laughs) Fucking piss all of that. One more time. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, (laughs) what would it be? Um. If I could eat one meal every day, (laughs) it would be pizza. Okay. (laughs) Have you ever had a nickname? I've never been naked at a camp. <laughs> <laughs> if you could travel back in time, what year would you go to? If I had to do a book report on any year, <laughs> it would be 1942. Okay. <laughs> sure. What's... <laughs> list your two pet peeves. Uh, I do believe in Bigfoot. <laughs> Okay. (laughs) What's the tallest building you've been to the top of? One more time. What's the tallest building you've been to the top of? (laughs) I don't think I'm that pretty. (laughs) (laughs) How many do you want to do? I don't know. How many did I do? I can't. I I wasn't counting. Okay. Did I get one of them right? You got a couple of them right. I did? Yeah. That well, was which impressive. one did I get right? Well, I can't remember. I just have a big list and I was picking the funniest oh. questions I could find. Okay. I really need this to be louder though because I can... What are you listening to? It's are gonna... you just pressing buttons that you don't even know? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you can hear me. That's the loudest it goes. Can you hear me? I can't hear shit. <laughs> okay. okay. 
Okay. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years? My sister's name is Taylor. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, what is your favorite family holiday tradition? What? The <laughs> My favorite place to vacation is for the beach. <laughs> okay. Um, what is the most interesting thing you can see out of your kitchen window? <laughs> uh, the notebook. <laughs> um, if you had to describe yourself as an animal, which one would it be? <laughs> what? <laughs> if you had... To describe yourself as an animal, what would you be? If I had to wear a strap on, I'd probably try it. <laughs> what? <gasps> what? The f How did your mind get there? Oh no, it locked. Okay. On a scale of one to ten, how funny would you say you are? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my favorite TV show is not the answer. <laughs> okay, I but I write, I like Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> okay. Um, what three things do you think of the most each day? What three things do I like to <laughs> to chew on? <laughs> um, bubble gum. <laughs> Sunflower seeds for sure. <laughs> Chips. <laughs> okay. Um does uh are you related or distantly related to anyone famous? <laughs> I did not get any of that. Are you related or distantly related to anyone famous? Am I related to anyone famous? <laughs> William Power <laughs> Town. <laughs> Um, is there anything you wished would come back into fashion? Do I, something I want to come back into fashion? Wow! <laughs> do, do. Um, I think nothing. The fashion sucks. Okay. Um, is your glass half full or half empty? My favorite flower is a lily. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've done in the name of love? Something I love, my son, <laughs> and now my daughter. Uh, and the song. <laughs> what kitchen appliance do you use every day? Oh, it just ended right when you said that, but I didn't hear any of it, so I'm going to go with, give me it again. <laughs> <laughs> what kitchen appliance do you use every day? I'm going to say pepperoni pizza. <laughs> Okay. Should we be done? Do you want to be done? I did a full song, so okay. I didn't know if that was yeah. fair. Okay. Do you want to do one more full song each? Sure. Okay. Do we right. start since I already have it, or you want to go? No, we'll let's. Just go. We'll just. I don't want to have to edit. Oh, okay, cool. Backsy forksies. Yeah, yeah. Flippy <laughs> flippies. Oh, sorry. I added up very loud. Good luck, because this is hard. I don't know which ones you did. Okay. What does your child want to be when he or she grows up? Let's go. <laughs> what? What does your child want to be when he or she grows up? You just hid your whole fucking mouth behind that <laughs> mic. I didn't see a goddamn word. What does your child want to be forever. when he or she grows up? Peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> What would you sing at karaoke night? When you smile when you ask questions, <laughs> it's like you're a ventriloquist. <laughs> There's no fucking way. <laughs> what would you sing at karaoke night? If <laughs> what I thought you just said is, what would you say if I asked you for sex? I say <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> what makes you laugh the most? What makes me the most sad <laughs> is 
something I can't say on the podcast. <laughs> okay. That's fair. Um, ooh, what is your favorite family vacation? My favorite family vacation. <gasps> yeah, you got it. Was the one. No. I was going to say the one where my sister <laughs> got lost on the subway. <laughs> That wasn't a fun time. <laughs> that was a funny time. Um, yeah, Ocean City, Maryland. Okay. What's your favorite holiday? Christmas. Oh! What's the most daring thing you've ever done? One more time. <laughs> What's the most daring thing you've ever done? The most sexy thing I've ever done <laughs> is... Oh, boy. Do something in a public pool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no one was there. Sure. <laughs> what is your glass half full or half empty? I missed it, but the song is ending. Uh-huh. So hold on. And then we'll, this will be my last one for this round. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, you want me to do it again? Fuck, what was it? Is your glass half full or half empty? I asked you this question. You did? It is half full. Ah! <laughs> I gotta switch up the list. Wait, let me do Goodness one more. hit the wall. She never had it <laughs> One more. Do you collect anything? <laughs> I thought you just said, will you licky licky? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> do you ask me again. Do you collect anything? <laughs> You, it looked like you said, well, you looky, looky. No. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's fair. What were you asking me? Do you collect anything? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to looky, looky? Is what I thought you were asking. <laughs> Everyone probably thinks it's so gross that we're just swapping these headphones back and forth from each other. Also, that is so fucking loud. I know. To then take it out and it be silent is weird. I know. Oh, my goodness. I'm also getting hives, I think. Oh, my God. This happens sometimes when I drink beer. Oh, my God. I'm going to a different song. No. (laughs) (laughs) I was just fucking thinking of the song. (laughs) What is it? Dance, dance. Oh. Dance, dance. Help me. It keeps locking. Okay. What would you sing at karaoke night? <laughs> One more time. What would you sing at karaoke night? Blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, if you could choose to do anything, what would it be? If I could choose a career? Podcasting. Hey, fuckable bunny. <laughs> um... Who's your favorite author? Um, my favorite dog breed <laughs> is probably. A, I really like Cav. One of my dogs, Cavalier King Charles, a poodle mix. Yeah. Uh, do you like surprises? Why or why not? Do I like butter on my bread? <laughs> not all the time. <laughs> okay. Have you ever had a nickname? What was it? Say it again. <laughs> Have you ever had a nickname? What was it? Have I ever done a little... <laughs> it sounds like you're... Have I ever gone down under? <laughs> a couple of times. Okay. How would your friends describe you? I think you're saying strap on again. <laughs> How would your friends describe you? How would I finish? <laughs> I'm going to say... With a with a bow. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the best gift you've ever been given? I believe. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what you asked. What do I believe in? I believe in good people. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you were a superhero, what powers would you have? If I could own a bounce house, I would for sure. <laughs> okay. Um, 
How many pillows do you sleep with? How many watermelons? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is the math book. Can I put it in my mouth? <laughs> Probably none. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> What's the longest you've gone without sleep? What's the longest I've ever been in love? Four years. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, my song ended. Do you want to do any more? Yeah, give me one more. Okay. What would you do if you won the lottery? What's a four-letter word? Boat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that was fun. <laughs> well... That's all we have. That's all we had planned. I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah. <laughs> Happy anniversary, guys. It's been two years. I can't even believe it. This is crazy. We've had this so been... many babies. <laughs> we have. Two years, two babies. Yep. Um, th- <clears throat> I, we thank you guys so much. We had no for... idea when we started this two years ago that this was what it was going to become. And Jesus. Yeah. It, it's better than I could have ever expected. Yeah. This is like the stuff... This is what dreams are I'm made, made of. Um, truly, thank you guys so much. Thanks yeah. for hanging out. We love you so much. Yes. We will see you next week. Um, um, follow us on yes. our social medias. It's Please. It's at Ladies and Tangents on Instagram and on TikTok. Um, our Twitter is Ladies underscore Tangents. And then if you want to, go follow the Facebook page, which is Ladies and Fangents. Yep. Um, answer the questions though <laughs> please <laughs> yes um, and oh don't forget if you could because it's two years and we finally could start saying this but like if you like to just like subscribe and like and like leave us some reviews like, please rate, review, subscribe. Please, it would be really helpful and we want to do this for you guys literally as long as possible yeah so the more you do that the longer we can keep doing this yeah so and i uh you know what you know we've given you way too many instructions okay we love you thank you so much <laughs> we will see you guys next week all right we're out goodbye